Hey guys, welcome back. More ISS Vanguard. We're in the ship phase. This is the second time we've left Brimstone. Uh, we successfully defeated the Behemoth. Uh, we gained some more discoveries. Uh, and we're returned to the ship now. So uh, the first few sections are going to be pretty quick. Uh, we've docked. We discarded excess discoveries. We didn't need any. Symbol available crew members. Boom, got it. Debriefing. We did not get the rank up. We did not get seven discarded cards. We did from uh, Quamil, but not Vakujlo. And on top of that, it doesn't really matter because we only had two success tokens. So unfortunately, we don't get the rank up card. So that'll go back into our potential rank ups. Uh, we created our success pool, buy or sell dice, we don't have any. Uh, so now we're gonna go to unloading another one. We didn't get any unique, unique discoveries, so dang it. Uh, we don't have any bridge upgrades or anything like that. So we've got our unique, our regular discoveries. And it says, when unloaded, you may discard this card to gain two energy. I don't think we're gonna do that. Um, ship management, when unloaded, you may move one situation card from the waiting envelope to the possible situations. We don't have any situations in the waiting envelope, so uh, mind-altering virus, that's hilarious. Uh, we use a mind-altering virus to get rid of a situation. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So the rest of it, we're gonna go into our gathered discoveries. So that's good. Okay, so we're, we're now just gonna unload the lander. Uh, so these are gonna get moved here. The heavy armor plane is gonna go back to a waiting envelope. Go to the med bay. Um, we recover, so Amir gets better. Yay, Amir. Uh, so he goes back to our ready to go crew members. Then our wounded uh, soldiers returning, Quamil and Vakujlo. They just have light injuries, so they're gonna go in here. And they are gonna get all fixed up. Okay, we don't have to make any survival checks, so there's no critical injuries. We go to the memorial wall, and we don't have any dead crew members, so that gets done. So now we go to the save point, um, and we go actually back to the bridge. Okay, so a couple things on the bridge. First off, we have to remove this secondary objective about toppling the Titan. That's completed, which is great. Uh, we've got this uh, campaign objective cloak satellite. So it looks like we replace, we replace this campaign objective, which is find more builder steelies uh, on the nearby worlds. And then we, and then we get this other campaign objective, which it seems like a side plot, so I'm not sure, but uh, complete R09 research project, the Black Knight. A strange satellite we brought from the orbit of the previous world seems connected to the Eye of the Void. Okay, so that's our current objective now, so we're gonna have to complete this research project. I wanna look at it real quick, actually, the Black Knight. Okay, so the cost is free, so good. So I think we're gonna have to do a research project then. Uh, we're gonna have to visit that as one of our uh, command tokens. But the nice thing is it looks like we're gonna get three now. So we're gonna generate command and energy pools. So we're gonna get, uh, let's see here, four, uh, five energy. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we are gonna ha get uh, three command tokens, awesome. And we have this, Hall of Trophies. Whenever you have three or fewer success tokens at the start of the bridge step, add one success token to your successful. We only have two, so we get a free success token. Yay us. Our morale is good, which is awesome. Uh, take all situation cards out of the waiting envelope and place them face up nearby. Resolve the effect, we don't have any. We reveal new situations. We're gonna get two situations. All right, here we go we get illegal power diversion and unfinished business. Okay, uh, board crew members are diverting power to rec recreational holodecks and the unofficial manufacturing of luxury wares. Luxury wares, okay. So we're gonna lose one energy and shuffle this card into possible situations or lower morale and shuffle this card. Okay, so this is a one and done thing we tend to have enough energy right now. 
but we'll we'll see about that later. Um, unfinished business. Small in investigations and cases are accumulating at the at a frightening pace. Security has to spend a full week solving them all at once. Effect lower lower morale and shuffle this card into possible situations. Um, okay, so we don't want to lower morale. Yuck. Um, okay, well, that goes into stuff to deal with later. Uh, planetary scanner, return the lander card back. Will do. Go to star map. Okay, so I'm looking over 81 INF. Um, we've done uh, 81 IFD to get a mineral discovery. Uh, we haven't done 81 INFC. Uh, we've landed in Brimstone and we've done the Tide Collar Moon. Um, we have five energy tokens. So we'd have to, if we wanted to go, because I'm looking at this, that, this campaign objective that we had in the past, and we were going to go to uh, NU4 SETI system uh, and uh, GYF4. GYF4 we need upgrade B01, which we don't have. and Or we can go to Atropus in uh, Iota Pegasus system. So that would get us one of those campaign objectives that maybe maybe this is going to come back up, I'm guessing. Um, so, or we can travel back and try to go to um, the NU4 SETI, so we'd have to go to TOI2, then to NU4 SETI. So that would be one, two energy there, uh, or we can spend three, actually two energy because we've got that bridge upgrade to go to Iota Pegasus. Um, I'm wondering if Iota Pegasus is out of our league and if we should move back, but either way, um, we would need two energy to travel uh, to uh, NU4 SETI um, or two energy to go to Iota Pegasus. So that leaves us three energy left. So I'm wondering if we should go to this uh, 81 INFC. From time to time, this scorching gas giant flings plumes of molten metal into the exosphere. We can spend three energy and go to 291. I wonder if it's worth it because we probably won't go through 81 INF. Well, we, we might go to through 81 INF, but we can kind of check that off. Everything in 81 INF has been done. So I'm wondering, we've got the, enough energy to make it to a new system and do a landing, no matter what. So let's let's use three energy. I think, I think I'm gonna do it. Uh, to uh, explore 81 INFC, we're gonna go to log 291. Engineering report. required the use of jetpacks to allow users to move precisely and fast. Okay. We spent a lot of time and resources preparing the equipment so that it didn't require years of experience to operate or special training that the recon section receives. We succeeded in this field and constructed a simplified version of a jetpack stuffed with electronics that perform many tasks that the user had to do manually before. That was the only thing we succeeded in. The whole 1C project was a fiasco otherwise. Oh, and no. it brought us nothing but a loss of energy. Oh, and the recon guys decided to stick with their old jetpack design, despite it being clearly harder to use. They complained that when using a more automated version, the feeling just wasn't the same. <laughs> whatever that means. Oh, no. Move card... Uh, E15 jetpack from unavailable equipment to Armory. So we got we got a jetpack that anybody can use. <laughs> so okay, well that was worth three energy, I guess. Then you may assign one crew member to gain one mineral discovery and place it in gather discoveries. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, let's do some Marth because I want to keep as many different possible. Uh, icons as possible when we do our research projects. So let's just do Samarth. Samarth is going to go to resting crew and we gain a mineral discovery. So I'm going to draw off the top here. 
incandescent gemstone. During planetary exploration, when you gain this discovery, you may flip an incomplete rank up card to the complete. Ooh, that would have been bad. Awesome. Uh, ultra rare mineral, incandescent gemstone. So it goes to our gathered discoveries, which is good. Okay. Cool. So that was a waste. Now, where do we go? Do we go to Iota Pegasus or do we go back uh, to TOI2 and then to NU4 SETI? I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go spend one energy to travel to TOI2. Boom. And then one energy to go to NU4 SETI. I think that's going to be the smartest. I, I just wonder if if we are if we are um, not ready to go to Iota Pegasus. Um, I, I just it just feels like it's it's a, a level up kind of thing, and we're not we're not we not we haven't leveled up enough to do it. Um, so we're going to go to NU4 SETI. Uh, okay, uh, this protoplanetary nebula in the vicinity of this system contains a high amount of oxygen particles. We also detect high oxygen levels on several objects in the system giving us hope for lush, verdant worlds. Okay, so we have arrived in U4 SETI. And then we don't have any energy left. Um, all these require energy. So we're just gonna do landing on in U4 SETI B matchstick, a large green plant brimming with life, but troubled by flash fires. Okay, so uh, we're gonna get the, uh, we're gonna take get the, uh, the scan card for in U4 SETI B, uh, we're gonna get that card and place it in our scanner. So that's matchstick. Okay, so that gets slid in. Shoop. Okay. All right, so now we, we can scan the planet. So let's use, that's zero energy to do that. Um, and then we can assign crew members. Hmm, I'm, I'm worried. Maybe maybe we should just peek at the research projects. I think that's I think that's okay. So we're gonna need a science and a compass, and one microorganism discovery. I don't know if this is cheating or not. Is this cheating? Okay, I've I've cheated a little bit. Um, I have looked at the research projects, and I can complete three research projects if I don't use any people for the scan. <laughs> uh, we don't have any other crew members. So let's think about command points, right? So we're gonna, we're going to um, spend one command point on situations maybe, one command point on research projects for sure, and then we could recruit which that actually might help, or we can do production projects um, because we do have a couple lander facilities, this production project. I think we've got some in the bank. Let's just check, take a look real quick. Yes, yeah, so we'll get both of those biome suits and advanced section tools. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to recruit. So I think, I think we're gonna leave the scanner as is, which we made a mistake last time by doing that, but we, we were able to, to squeeze it out. So, uh, okay, so let's, let's just take a look. Um, turbulence and thick smoke. We need, uh, what, um, looks like targeting and maneuverability. So that's great. Um, all right, so well, let's, let's just call it Man, I'm tempted. Maybe not do one research project, but I really want to do the research project. We're going to leave it. We're going to go. We're going to go blind, okay? Yep, okay, so let's go to ship facilities. We're going to do it. We're just going to move on. Okay, so we definitely want to do... Um, let's... Oh, dang it. You know what? Uh, so let's see. If we're going to do situations... We want to resolve this one or we could just lose yeah let's just let's just allow the illegal power diversion we'll go to situations and we'll do unfinished business and get that taken care of because we, we don't want to reduce morale 
I mean, am I spending too much energy command tokens on on our situations? I mean, I don't want to lower morale. I mean, really though, like, we're gonna be able to do both of these and the situation room, and the only thing we can't do is barracks, which that's not too bad. Yeah, okay, so let's let's do one command token. Boop. Oh no. One command token to go to the situation room, that's 17. Okay, we can resolve one of these automatically. So we're gonna resolve unfinished business. If morale is medium or high, take one crew member from resting crew into the corresponding session player's hand. Otherwise, shuffle this card into possible situations. Okay, so we, we can either take a resting crew and put it in our hand, or we can shuffle this back into possible situations, it looks like. So we're gonna shuffle this back into possible situations, okay? Then I'm gonna keep illegal power diversion because we don't want to use up any people. Uh, we're gonna return to the page six. Let's do research projects next. So let's use a command token for research projects. All right, take all research projects out of the awaiting envelope. Okay, so we're gonna do this one here. So this is a research project, Extreme Biome Survival. We have a lengthy list of different extreme worlds to visit. We must prepare. Uh, we need an alien tech discovery, a microorganism tech discovery, and a strange floor discovery. And then we need a compass and a shield. And then uh, we have this research project, the Black Knight, that, that's, that's our main objective right now. Um, so we have installed all of our research projects. Now we can complete one, so we pay the, the cost. So we're gonna do the free one. <clears throat> the Black Knight, this device seems to have been made by the builders and employee, employs the same camouflage method as the Eye of the Void. We should study it immediately. Grants bridge upgrades, so we've completed that. Let's let's do this, so that's, we're gonna, we're gonna resolve that one. Then I think we are gonna resolve we're going to resolve this biomedical enhancements, which is a microorganism discovery, and we need a science and a compass. I need to make sure I'm doing this right. We need uh, science. We're going to use Theo and Cho. So we've got a science and a compass and a microorganism. All right, so that's that one's now resolved. So this gets moved back here. These get moved to resting crew. Then we're gonna do uh, this one, uh, Builder's Landmark, which is a story log. And uh, the steely we brought from the planet's surface warrants further study. Uh, we need an alien tech discovery, so we're gonna use that. And then we need a wrench, uh, which Riku has, and a Xeno, which uh, Christos has. I thought that we I had one more. Did I did I do that wrong? Let's let's uh, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, we're gonna move Avery to the resting crew, and we're gonna go ahead and scan scan one more. I think that's okay. I think we're allowed, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, matchstick frequent checks is the DNA check. Okay, good. We've got Betty, and the biomes is leaf and mountains, maybe. Okay, so we're definitely gonna send Betty out. I think that's gonna be our best bet. Okay. Research projects done. Um, so now let's let's resolve all these. Let's let's get to the good. So let's do the Black Knight. Go to log seven thirty. You called, Doctor. We're almost ready to power up, Captain. Please stand behind the line. Are you sure it's safe? What if this satellite was a trap? Unlikely. As you can see, it is the product of the same technology as the Eye of the Void. It even uses the exact same cloaking mechanism. If some orbital debris hadn't damaged it, we would never find it. We do not fully understand the technology of the builders, but this device only contained a power source, an array of sensors aimed at the planet, and the part you now see in front of you, a part that we believe was responsible for relaying the readings from the planet to some other distant place. Oh. To the eye of the void. Do you think that's what the Builders used to spy on us? It is highly possible. 
Ever since we received their message, we wondered how the eye could get a hold of the Earth's radio and TV transmissions. Oh. We are too far for any signal to reach it yet. Many of us speculated there had to be an observer, a device capable of spying on us and relaying our transmissions with hyper light speed. It seems that's what your away team has found in orbit. An observer tasked with watching the planet they explored. Only one way to know for sure, right? Correct. Please stand back, Captain. Are we green, Josh? Let's get this thing online. I am Josh, and yes, we're green. Switching it on in three, two, one. Another recorded message. No, the relay seems to receive this in real time. But how? What did that say? Let me read that. Okay. Hell, it's on. Call unreadable. Another recorded message. No, the relay seems to be receiving this in real time, but how? Unreadable. Read us. Is it you, Vanguard? Well, I'll be damned. Oh. <clears throat> oh, are we able to communicate with Earth now real time because of that? Ooh. Okay. Gain one success token. I'm down with that. I like it. Captain's log. Entry D629. Never have I seen such joy turn into despair in such a brief time. Oh, no. We were surprised and overjoyed when Earth picked up the phone on the other end. Our travels took us further and further from home, and no communication was able to catch up. Fortunately, the FTL probe we sent to Earth after our preliminary findings at the Eye of the Void found its way home. When confronted with the message from the Builders, Earth's leading scientists came to the same conclusion as we did. They realized something had to spy on Earth, intercepting its transmissions and relaying them to the Eye making it possible for the eye to communicate with us once we arrived. They scoured every inch of the solar system and eventually located our own Black Knight, right in Earth's orbit. They dismantled it, studied it, and quickly discovered its most perplexing element, a quantum entanglement relay for near instant communication. When we powered our relay, theirs was already working, waiting, scanning for any signal, now we had a way to communicate with our home world instantly. Okay. I couldn't keep this a secret. Mm -hmm. After we finished high-level meetings and briefings with the Vanguard Initiative executives on Earth, I allowed every last crew member of ISS an hour of uplinks time to speak to their families and close ones, if they wished. Our mission had no set end date. We were to explore until we learned all about the Builders, their steelies, and their message. This meant those of us who still harbored hope of ever seeing their families now lost it. Their ability to speak to their close ones once more was a godsend. Somewhere in the middle of tearful reunions and goodbyes, I received an urgent call from the Vanguard Initiative Office. Top secret. Only me and the section leader stayed on the bridge. Our reports from the destroyed planet Pelucid startled them. There was something wrong going on with Earth's core. A structure was growing deep within our planet, eerily similar to the one that doomed Pelucid. The oh, Earth no. was set to repeat the same fate, oh, ripped no. from inside by crystalline growth. Only Vanguard could learn what it was, and how to stop it. Somehow, this news quickly found its way to the crew. I'm not sure whether it's good or bad. Now we all share the same grim determination. Our mission became a race against time. The only chance we have to save our planet is to unlock the legacy the Builders spoke of, or gather knowledge that would help stem the crystal before it's too late. We need to step up our search and discover many more steelies as soon as possible. I already ordered our engineers to install a new detector, tuned to the unique signature of the steelies. This will take time, though. In the meantime, we should explore some more. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that is so bad. So Earth is doomed, right? And we are its only hope to figure out why those crystals grew and how to stop them. 
Oh no. Great, that's fantastic. Take the bridge upgrade, BO3, long range detection array, and place it in the awaiting envelope. Okay, that goes to the awaiting envelope. Shuffle ship situations S16, unfinished business from future situations to possible situations. I think I've already done that, right? I think I just, oh, S16, there's a different one. Okay, so that goes into situations. The new bridge upgrade will become available during the next ship management. Once you install it, you also receive your new campaign objective. If you have not completed at least a couple of research and production projects, consider using research lab and production complex facilities some more before you progress the campaign. Just okay, saying, be careful. Uh, okay. Well, that's that just happened. Holy cow, that was nuts. Uh, let's go to Builder's Landmark. Oh no, another log. Let's go uh, biomedical enhancements. Let's see, look at that. Okay, hold on. New technologies will help us increase the survivability of our crew and enhance their capabilities. Move the following cars to the waiting envelope. Okay, I think I've gathered everything. So, uh, F01 Trauma Center, a specialized expansion of the med bay that deals with traumatic injury. <clears throat> Before my survival check, you may re-roll one uh, drip die, I guess. Okay, so that goes to the awaiting. And then we got another research project, <clears throat> um, nanotechnology. Through the first steps in nanotechnology, we made well before Vanguard's mission. It was the discovery of alien nanomachines and exotic minerals that allowed us to fulfill the vision of the Earth scientists. Grand Slander Mods, facility upgrade equipment. Okay, cool. Um, then we uh, gain all of these unavailable equipment to the armory. One, two, three, four, five. So we get a medevac drone, <clears throat> stimulants, blue nutrient, red nutrient, and green nutrient. During a dice check, you may return this card to the armory and reroll any green dice. Say green, red, and blue is a reroll. Um, stimulants, <clears throat> roll a danger die, then each crew member in your sector refreshes three die. That's nice. Medevac drone. Use a red and a blue. If you're in the landing sector, place a medevac drone token in your sector. This counts as an action. Whenever a crew member receives a fourth injury, you may ignore that injury and immediately place them in the landing sector instead of performing an evac procedure. <clears throat> Return this card to the armory and discard this token. Cool, okay. So that gets moved to armory. So we got a bunch of cool stuff. Awesome, <clears throat> that's done. Now let's do um, builder's landmarks. Let's go to log 50. Away team, exploration report 60F. Excitement runs high. Materials and markings on this strange milestone like steel appear similar to the ones found on Eye of the Void, confirming our suspicions. The builders are responsible for creating these obelisks. We now suspect they left one steel on every world marked on the map we've received once we entered the eye. Okay. Some kind of energetic anchor seemed to secure the milepost on the planet and made it impossible for us to move it. Mm. But we took all possible scans, made every possible analysis, and built a one-to-one -one replica of the steel aboard Vanguard. It's hard to determine its exact purpose, and the nature of the glyphs eludes us. Perhaps with more examples to study, we can learn more. <laughs> Top secret. Project Birthright. Founding document. Excerpt. While the Builder's message that ISS Vanguard received at the Eye of the Void was far from obvious, it did seem to encourage us to visit all the nearby worlds capable of supporting life, to look for what Builders called our tribe. We now suspect each of these coordinates has a habitable planet, and each of these planets has a steel, an obelisk left by the Builders. The study of these obelisks is our only chance of understanding the message and our purpose. Therefore, it should be Vanguard's top priority. Dr. Sarah Corey, ISS Vanguard Chief Researcher. Hmm. Okay. You will go to the Project Birth di Diagram and trace a line from any of the filled points to a round point of your choice. Fill this chosen point and go to the log indicated next to it. What is that? Oh, you will go to the Project Birthright diagram and trace a line from any of the filled 
points to a round point of your choice, moving the steely, steely material. The line has a tech level requirement. You can only trace it to the, to the tech level card in your bridge card holder. Okay, okay. All right, so we can either move moving the steely or the steely's material. Let's do moving. Oh, maybe start. To explore graph town, please click discovered node marked with green frame and drag to not explored one. Oh, marked with a red frame. Okay, so we, we're gonna do move. There we go. Top secret project birthright. Research log one C. When our team tried to move the artifact, all conventional attempts failed. We do not understand why. We've discovered an invisible gravity wave tether that keeps the steel anchored in one specific position relative to the center of the planet's mass. The builders went to great lengths to ensure their steels could not be removed from any planet or otherwise moved between the planets, though we still don't know why. Short of moving the planets themselves, we have no practical way to collect the steels and we must rely on their detailed scans for future research. Okay. Gain one success token. Done. Well, we're getting success tokens like crazy. Okay. Well, that is exciting. Um, wow. There's so much to this game, which is just awesome. Which is just so cool. Wow. Okay. Well, we can't go do any more research projects. So let's go back to page six. And then we have one command point left. Last command point, production complex, page 12. Okay, we don't have any new, oh, game new production projects. Ready for production, it goes here. Okay, don't have any production upgrades. Progress current projects. All right, so we get biome suits, advanced section tools, and the heavy mission equipment goes to stage three. All right, uh, we're gonna resolve those, but let's go ahead and start new projects. Choose any number of projects, page 13, and, and move them over. So we're gonna grab this one. It's a stage two project, so let's just put it right there. Perfect, okay, so let's, uh, let's now resolve these because these are now in, uh, have been produced. Uh, biome suits. The new generation of armored suits will make our away team capable of superhuman feats. Move the following cards from unavailable equipment to the armory. Okay, so we do uh, four E19s, four E20s, four E21s, and this research project advanced biome suits to the awaiting envelope. So that goes to awaiting. And then let's look at these. So mobility suit. You may only carry one suit. Uh, when traveling from sectors with specific biomes, add one die to your travel action dice check or ignore one spend icon on the path. A stasis suit. You only carry one suit. Roll one injury die less in sectors with those biomes. Okay. And then protective suit. You may only carry one suit. Whenever you roll a danger die in sectors with these specific biomes, you may uh, spend two die to ignore that roll's effect. Cool, all right. Well, those go into the armory, which that is awesome. Cool, okay, that's done. Okay, now we do the advanced section tools. With this wide variety of tools, there's no task a specialist will fear. We gotta get a bunch of more stuff from unavailable equipment. So we get uh, 38, 39, 40, and 41, and then we get this production project expert section tools that goes into the awaiting envelope. So let's look at these. Portable probe. During a dice check, you may place this card in the roll pool of any crew member in your sector, including yourself, add a pickaxe plus shield <clears throat> or a red to this roll pool. After the dice check, return this card to the armory. Cool. Physical Enhancer, during a dice check, you may place this card in the roll pool of any crew member in your sector, including yourself, add a shield plus a pickaxe or a red die to this roll pool. After the dice check, return this card to the armory. Cool. Mapping mini drones, 
During your dice check, you may place this card in the roll pool of any crew member in your sector, including yourself, at a compass plus a <clears throat> DNA or a green die to this roll pool. After the dice check, return to armory. Bioanalyzer. During this dice check, you may place this card in the roll pool of any crew member in your sector, including yourself, at a DNA or a Z Xenology or a green die to this roll pool. After the dice check, return to armory. These are cool. These are super cool. Oh man, um, I'm super excited about those. And I can see the armory. We've got like, we had such a tiny stack and now we have this huge stack in our armory all of a sudden, which is insane. Okay. Well, that was uh, productive to say the least. Uh, we've um, inserted our land facilities production project in. I think that's all we can do with production projects. So I think we've done everything we can. We're gonna go to the hangar now. All right, so it's gonna need, we're gonna need maneuverability and targeting or something like that. But I mean, the Space Ranger is still our best bet, which sucks. <clears throat> um, I think we're gonna, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be harder for us to land. We can get more unique discoveries. We don't really have any extra structural mods or utility mods. We can get one more thing. I think we're just gonna go with the Space, space Ranger again. <clears throat> so let's get the Space Ranger out. Install lander mods. Um, what do we have our choices? Um, okay, so we, we need maneuverability and targeting. So maybe we should not do the heavy armor plating this time. <clears throat> and we've got two maneuverability and one targeting. I'm just guessing on that icon again. So emergency broadcast system, that's a given because we don't have any other utility stuff. Um, oh, navigation, I guess that's what it's called. Not targeting, navigation. Turbulence and thick smoke. So this will help us see through the thick smoke and this will help us get out of the way of whatever's coming. Let's let's do navigation. Let's see if we can avoid avoid a, a, a collision rather than try to just dive out of the way. Mission launch, 23. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, we, we are going to launch and we are gonna land hopefully successfully on Matchstick next episode. Wow, what a successful a ship phase like oh my gosh it feels like we've gotten so much stuff i'm gonna have to look through all the armory cards again and see what i th think we should bring to this planet um i need to pick who i'm gonna take with me betty for sure and then we'll pick somebody else uh maybe amir because he's got science and strength um but sweet thank you guys so much for watching again i really appreciate it please like make a comment subscribe all that good stuff and uh, we'll see you next episode. Goodbye.